I am Dr. Neha Giri. I have done MD in Radio Diagnosis from PMCH Patna. I took admission in 2019 and passed in 2022. So talking about the modalities in PMCH, we have five basic modalities, X-ray, USD, CT scan, MRI and mammography. We didn't have DSA or cath lab or I would say like fluoroscopy. The CT scan and MRI machine is on PPP mode. But the best thing is that the, all the CT and MR scan reporting is done by the junior residents itself. And uh, talking about machine quality, the CT scan is like we have 16 slice CT and 1.5 Tesla MRI. We have only one CT machine and one MRI machine and all the OPD emergency, emergency based scans are done on the same machine. We have two to three ultrasonography machines in the OPD and one in the emergency department. But the quality of machine is not that up to the mark. We don't have 3D, 4D scans. So talking about the posting in the first year of residency, in the first two months, we used to write report and the scans were, uh, scans were done by the first and second, uh, second and third year of res third year residents. We were initially posted in the USC in the next department. By the third month of posting, we were introduced, uh, we, we were given free hand. We were given free hand access to the USC and XDs. And by the four month of posting, we uh, we were we, we used to report X ray. Uh, we used to report CT brain. And by the end, by the and and, and in the further subsequent posting, and by the end of the first year of residency, we were exposed to all the kind of modalities: X ray, CT scan, MRI. But definitely the step by step. Initially, we got in our CT brain and CT KUB. And later on, uh, we got MRI spine, then MRI brain, and uh, everything. I would say by the end of first year we were exposed. So talking about the working period, I would say that we uh, uh, there was 6 to 8 hours of work, working time in F per day, but it was not fixed. It was fixed in OPD K department, but in emergency the, uh, the time used to vary. The duration could exceed. It all depend upon the number of scans of the workload, which was generally high. Now coming to the academics, I would say the academics is of is average. It's we didn't have much of the journal clubs or case presentation or research work. But yes, we had case presentation once uh, once in a month. Or but classes, if I say we had two to three case discussion or regular based classes per week, and uh, we always have uh, case discussion and all. And during every posting, we had SR and AP post along with uh, uh, along with us, along with us. Now talking about like. Uh, now talking about number of residents, when I was there, we were five MD residents and five diploma residents. But in present scenario, only five residents, five MD residents are there, or uh, and the diploma seats had been removed. Now coming to the bond service, if I talk about the bond service, like we have, there is like any other state in Bihar, in India, in Bihar also has compulsory bond period of three years, and uh, the compensation amount is twenty five lakhs. And there is no so and there is no defined thing that whether he will be posted as an SR medical officer at SMO in the bond period. Like my seniors got SR in the medical college in their bond duration, and I am posted as an MO in the SDS hospital. Now, uh, now giving the quick review of the validation uh, and supervision of the report, I would say like the CT and MRI report in the first year, and even the USC were always validated and countershared by our seniors second year uh, residents and which were beyond their reach or which were difficult for them then JR third used to help and, their, and then our SR. So there is always hierarchy in this supervision of reports. But it's not like that every report will be counter checked and all but only those difficult. But in first year they, are, uh, they, they will, they will counter check each and every report. Now moving towards uh, uh, local hostel. If I tell you about the accommodations in the college is very old so hostel is of uh, the is you can understand uh, hostel condition you can understand we only have one pg hostel for the girls and two to three hostel for the boys but since pmc is and is under construction so new many more hostels are on the way now talking about the drawbacks like every other college it has its own, own pros and cons so my college the drawback i would say the academic the resolution of ultrasound machine is not that good and the bond obviously and otherwise, the college is very good. We have diverse number of cases. We and talking about the free hand hands of exposure. I would say there is uh, the best th best thing about our college. We have free hand exposure to yeah, everything: X-ray, USG, CT scan, everything. By the uh, by the end of the six month in first years of residency, I was able to do fluid uh, fluid tapping, USG guided procedures, all the kind like fluid fluid abscess drainage, fluid fluid tapping, aseptic fluid tapping. And in the second year, second year onwards, we used to do FNSE 
and the pictal catheterization and all, or CT guided biopsy or any other procedures. So it's all things step by step. Uh, considering learning and practical thing, it's really very good. You will get good free hand on cases, and there is no uh, and the working environment is very friendly. No pressure, no help. It's not that hectic as any other college. Thank you so much.